And still we have uh, to record uh, an acoustic album, so that's the plan. <laughs> We're fine. I'm, I'm very happy to have this interview with you guys. I'm doing fine. Uh, a little bit stressed because we have a lot of things going on, but most of all, fine. Thank you. Basically, the name uh, comes from uh, a street here in Milan where we used to rehearse when we started playing, Via Ghiberti. Uh, Ghiberti is a sculptor, an old artist. So by the time that we had our first gig, we didn't even have a, a real name at that time. Uh, the first gig, we had it like two days uh, before when we uh, started to play together. And so the first thing that came to our mind was the Ghibertins because it sounded international, even if it came from an Italian word. The Ghibertins, is fine. it depends because in Italy, they say Ghiberti. When you're abroad, it's better to say the Ghibertins. It sounds nicer and cooler. The most important thing is to say G, because it's not easy to understand. Maybe it doesn't sound like G in all the languages. As long as you do, as you say, the Ghibertins, it's okay. The G. We started as a trio in 2015, as an acoustic trio. We wanted to, you know, get bigger, try to move forwards in a music direction. And so we welcome aboard the drummer and keyboard player. And in 2017, we became five. We made also some adjustments with the people in the band because the best player left. And now we are a real group since 2018. And finally, we have found our dimension. We are very happy. We never fight. That is kind of strange for a band. We never argue. We have finally found uh, our dimension. I'm really happy about it. So we are from uh, Milan. So we are having a few gigs uh, on the north of Italy. And still we have uh, to record uh, an acoustic album. So that's the plan. We started as a cover band uh, when we played in acoustic. So the first uh, EP was uh, recorded just with two acoustic guitar and we made the percussion with the guitar case. So we were taking literally the guitar case uh, and use it as a percussion, like a stupid monkey playing it like this. Especially with uh, the last album we recorded, uh, The Life and Death of John Doe, we wanted to experiment a little bit. Uh, we claim to be an indie folk band, so in the folk, that's what we do. But with this album, we wanted to try to move in different directions. So if you listen to this album, you can clearly hear electronic music, you can hear gospel, rock. And that was actually kind of funny to record an album like that because uh, it, it gave us the opportunity to express ourselves. We wanted to, to try to create a concept album, which is something pretty strange in 2022. And uh, I had this idea of, uh, uh, having uh, a whole life uh, picture in an album and uh, trying to write a song for every decade of life of uh, the protagonist. And after we decided to do something like that, I have to say that the songwriting came uh, pretty smooth. The biggest joy of making an album is to play it. So when we finished the album, we didn't have the opportunity to play it because everything was in lockdown, everything was closed. So the album itself was ready in uh, June 2020. Yeah, and we postponed it uh, one year and a half later. We started with uh, one of the strongest songs of the album, which is 2149 Milano. Considering that the, the last album was really in the folk, and we were kind of afraid to release uh, this single, but uh, the reaction were actually good. And in the end, uh, we wanted right from the very beginning to let our audience to understand that uh, this album was something uh, unique and uh, it was not comparable to the one that we did before so we decided to go straight to a song that was completely different from everything that we wrote before we built uh, every song uh, around uh, an indie folk music and then we tried to change it a little bit the fact that this is a concept album allowed us to wrote the uh, electronic and rough rock songs at the beginning of the album but if you listen to the entire album you will clearly also see the uh, indie folk influences uh, to the second part of the album it's a medical and legal term when you have like a person or a body that you cannot identify since you are forced to identify someone by giving a surname and a name uh, traditionally you use john doe for a, a man and female jane doe yeah despite we we talk about the life of our fictional character and it's a 
a happy story because in the end uh, he lives uh, happily ever after like uh, fairy tales. Uh, the, the real meaning of the album is that uh, unfortunately uh, in 200 years nobody will remember us more likely. Be remember is something that will happen to not a lot of people. The idea behind the concept is that uh, we are all uh, forgettable and we are all John Doe on this earth, unfortunately. But still, uh, life is, uh, is a wonderful journey to describe. Uh, and uh, despite uh, the concept is a little bit black and, and shady, we wanted to uh, a nice story. I like to play a lot uh, outro, which is the last song, uh, because it's the only song where I don't play any instrument. Uh, and for, for once I can like move freely on the stage, uh, having a lot of fun. And, uh, and also it's a song that I really like to sing because it's very peculiar. Intro has a really important message. It's the opening track of the album, of course, it's called Intro. So it's the conception of the, character, the main character. And basically it's the father of the character and the mother talking together. The father is leaving the family, is leaving the pregnant woman behind. Uh, he wants to move on uh, and forget about his current life. Uh, in the song, if you hear it, you clearly see the difference between my voice and the voice of the female singer. Her name is Alicia Grasso. She's very powerful, so like fearsome. She's very brave and we wanted to have this contrast in the track. And the video tries to summarize this feeling. Talking about our ambitions, uh, I want to keep them easy. It would be already something uh, to organize a uh, European tour done uh, in a proper way. Right now we are trying to work on it. We will start to, to tour around November and uh, we surely, hopefully, come also to Netherlands. The best thing of being a musician is the feeling that you have when you, when you play live. If you're a band like us, uh, so that are not known uh, abroad uh, when you start to make a tour it's like really heavy so you don't have a lot of opportunity to enjoy the town enjoy the people you just go straight to the to the club you do everything by yourself play go to bed and then start over things start to change of course uh, the more you get important uh, because you have start to have more time for yourself but for a band like us uh, it's kind of stressful to make a real tour but uh, it's also the one of the most beautiful things that uh, can happen. Thank you.